Hello, welcome back to another After Effects video. This time I want to look at the free transform. So once you've made your mask, whatever it may be, you're probably going to want to free transform it, which is sort of the next step. And there's a couple of ways to actually get into that menu. Uh, one is you could just press this and then press Control T. That will open it up. And then you can press Escape to get out. You can also double click on one of the points. I changed the size of the points to be, make them bigger. You can also do sh like Shift and F2 like you would before to, to deselect that. So when selecting the, when going to free transform mode, there's different ways you can do it. For instance, if I click on this line here, I'm only going to select the two points here, right? So if I then go into free transform mode with Control T, you can see only the two points are selected. So if I want to do any effects here, they're going to, it's only going to affect those two points, right? Now when we actually go into the mask, it's Control T. You'll notice there's actually another registration point. It's like a mini anchor point. Um, and you can see, for instance, if I rotate, you can see it's just going to rotate around the anchor point. If we take this anchor point, you notice we get a four-headed arrow, and we move over here, and we go for rotate. You can see I'm then rotating around that section there. Now if I deselect, so if I rotate, and then deselect, and then go back in, you'll see that the it's actually returned back. So it's only just a temporary thing. If I do a scaling here, so it's gonna scale like that, um, but if we move it here, you can see only when I press control, when I press control is when it starts to do the scaling around that point. So if it was actually a lot smaller, I moved it here. See, I can actually choose where I want to put it. I could put it in a different section here. I could choose, essentially, you can imagine like an XY axis and that, that is an advantage to, to putting it like that if you just get the shape of it first and position it 